Second take on this first impression. Ombre 11 four or 114 from the house of historic de parfum for those of you that watch this every day i truly appreciate it it's great hanging out with you fine folks it's been extremely busy and hectic so instead of rushing through to do a video every day like meeting a deadline i would rather try to do a better job on videos and have maybe two or three videos a week instead of one every day all right then with that said welcome to my place spray time see how that works very nice prayer the bottle is the same for for this house this is a hundred mil so it looks like a full bottle the 50 mil basically just cut in half that's a very interesting concept but this is ombre 114 and I just saw um, <laughs> all the notes in here but oh well right away on top what happened was it's been cold around here maybe 40 to 60 between 40 and 60 degrees and it's been raining so i was digging around to find some dark scent have this amber 114 basically it's a first impression it's going to be hard for any straight up amber scents to compete for my nose there are a dime a dozen and it's very difficult to stand out like Serge Luton's Ombre Sultan or Shalimar from Guerlain. So I have to dramatically lower my expectation for this one. Right on top, I'm getting time. <laughs> Is it that obvious? Not really, but because I just saw it here, it says time. Yep. I do get that green herbaceous of the time on the top right, right away. And there's some added spiciness. It's just coming out. Yeah, rather quickly, but it's very well blended together. <laughs> oh, I think this one is so well <laughs> put together. I don't know if I'm able to pick out different things. The Amber is coming out right away, hence the, the name Amber. Yeah, it's, huh. you know what? I'm going to pause it, I'm going to look up the notes, okay, to see what's in there, because this is very obvious, it's a very um, smooth, put together, I don't think I could pick out, the, the ember is very strong with that, a, a, just a bit herbal, just a bit green, and the spiciness, yeah, okay, I'm going to pause here a second. This is one of those, if I had sprayed this one in a store in passing, give it a quick sniff, I would probably just dismiss it for it just being another amber bottle. But now looking through the notes, I do pick up most of the stuff mentioned. And it's definitely more complex than I first let on. This is, um, I still try to figure out, there are some some notes that um, example some genre this is you know in the amber family when that happens when it's a dominating uh, uh, a core I sometimes I have a hard time picking out other stuff and I haven't figured out exactly which one you know what genre or what type of a core is giving me the trouble but this one is that's why I wasn't able to Right away, I could tell I cannot pick out the other stuff, so I had to look it up. And I'm glad I did, because like I said, if I just pass by and spray this on, I'll probably not think too much about it. This is definitely more complex than, you know, is what I thought right away. So I don't want to screw this one up. Yeah, it's, it's probably just harder for my nose to pick this one up. Anyway, the spicy nutmeg is coming out very strong. And it's kind of dancing around the amber and germanium. It's not letting up. So this is this is probably in the spicy, ambery uh, genre type of scent. I like it though. And now I'm picking out a bit of vanilla here with the fresh wood and the patchouli. That, that's what it says it has and I'm picking that out. I wasn't able to in the initially, but now yeah, I, re I see it. I, I'm looking up. 
Yeah, I, I'm getting that. The whole time, the whole thing is covered by that spicy nutmeg, right? So I'm getting that patchouli is spicy now. The cedar wood is spicy now. I'm getting the amber is spicy and the spicy benzoin. <laughs> it's kind of cool though. I wasn't expecting that spiciness to make this one a lot more interesting than typical amber, but yeah, it is getting that way. I can see they're not making this one to be a super dark. This is more of a med metal range. It's kind of soothing. It's more smooth than the typical dark scent. So I think that's the direction we'll settle in. They're, they're trying to be in the middle where it's not too potent. So the, the projection should be decent and long longevity should be decent too, but definitely not a beast. It's not projecting you know heavily i'm getting more of the ambery vanilla now here towards the middle or the dry down it does feel airy though it's, it doesn't punch me in the nose at all hmm. and <laughs> i'm kind of smelling a little bit of a pudding my kid had um pudding for dinner and I'm I'm getting a little bit of smell of that, just a bit. That maybe is from the vanilla sweet, okay, just a tad. So this is not at all a, a, a powerful sweet scent. Maybe like two out of ten, but it's there. I'm getting just a tad of cinnamon, just a tad. Maybe that's from the spicy nutmeg. That's kind of playing tricks on my nose, but. So this is a more of a subtle type of scent. Um, the amber is in there. It is a big player along with the spiciness i think this is um unisex it's very versatile it should be good for all type of weather it's not too sweet it's not too heavy it's not too potent it's quite smooth and airy i think that's the best word for me to describe it yeah and for sure it's nothing offensive in here definitely wearable for any type of situation but you know what, it's probably not one that you, you, you wear to get compliments because it's more of a, on this easy, smooth side, okay? Definitely not a clone or anything that I own at least. And, um, but I would say it's, it's similar to any of the Amber scents. I know that sounds very broad, but it's true though. This one doesn't come across trying to be too unique or too outrageous. But instead, it's just trying to be a very good version of this genre, the Amber scent. And I think it has done that, you know, what it set out to accomplish. Exactly that. This is, um, I'll be interested to look up what, what Amber 114 stands for. History they performed, they was set um, the, the, the time, you know, in history or person in history. And um, I'll find out what this is. Amber 114, 11-4. All right then, I hope that's kind of helpful though. This is a very quick uh, second take on the first impression. Second take means I spread it and then record a couple minutes and it's, I screw it up, just wasn't sure. So I spread it again anyway, that's what that means. All right then, um, as always guys, hope that is helpful and see you next time.